What's up, you guys? Hampus has another question. He wants to know about dealing with anger from within or around you. The best way is to stay positive. Anger is a secondary emotion. It comes from fear. When you get too much fear, when you become too afraid, you have to step out of your comfort zone to strike back and say, this is it. I am done. This is not going to stop unless I do something about it. It's like when you get too close to a dog, they're scared at first, and they snap back, you know. Same thing. When those who are, like, super angry, it's usually from being mad at themselves or mad at, like, a parent or a friend or something like that. And most of them do a thing called uh, transference where they take it out on those around them, you know. And what you really got to do, you cannot do that. You should not do that. Because all you do is you ruin that person's day, and then they ruin somebody else's day, and then, you know, it's a long, you know, chain. And it's not fun. Just let them know, I'm very upset. You know, if they ask you about it, and you know if they're talking about it, say, I, I don't know if they're talking about it, I'll tell you about it later. Things like that, you know, there's nothing wrong with talking about it some other time. You can always go back to it. They're, if they're your friend, they'll stick around for a while. You know, you'll probably be fine in the next hour or so. But dealing with it is a tough part because you will have to train yourself. And I mean train yourself. And the best way to train yourself, it's like, say you want to get in the habit of checking your phone every day for appointments, you know. For like little like uh, notifications or so you want to get in the habit of writing things down on the calendar, you know, scratching off the days. You will have to get in the habit by just doing it randomly, you know. And then uh, as you do it more and more, as you catch yourself like off guard more and more, then you will, it'll become second nature. And the way you're going to have to do this with dealing with anger is staying positive. Finding a way to convert that negativity into positive energy. That's as simple as that. Because all in your mind, when you get pissed, it's because you're pissed. Because you let yourself get pissed. Because you want to be pissed. Different reasons like that. Nobody can make you feel inferior without your consent. You control your emotions. It's your body. Nobody else can tell you what to do. Nobody else can make you do something. All right? If you, if you do something because somebody tells you to, it's because somewhere in your brain, you realize it's not a big deal. And then you do it. That's, that's why a lot of kids do chores. That's why a lot of kids, you know, do... Uh, like when they are in the ground and so that's why a lot of kids follow it. If I can't walk up my stairs to like the kitchen, like if I was ground to my room, if I was was if I wasn't able to walk up to the kitchen, I would literally not be able to walk up those stairs and pounce right right into the kitchen. You know, if I wasn't able to go to open gym, I would not be able to get in the car and drive to open gym or walk to open gym or call a friend and say, hey, can you pick me up and then have him drive me to the gym. All right, but it's not so much about being grounded and rebelling. It's about understanding that you are wrong and admitting it. When you admit it, then that's fine. Or when you reason with them, that's fine. But that's, that's on a different subject. Um, dealing with anger from within and around you. When it's within, you got some problems. You want to find a way to stay more positive. A lot of the times, the best way, all right, this is the big part of the episode. You guys ready for this? Here's the best way to deal with it. Expression. When I'm pissed, I express myself. Whether it's playing with piano, whether it's playing with Nisa, whether it's teaching her tricks, whether it's eating, mm, all right, or drinking, mm, or free running, parkour. There's tricking. There's drawing. There's Photoshop. There's poetry. There's art. You know. There's writing music. There's rearranging your room. Mainly, it's any way anything that keeps your mind busy. Clean your room when you're upset. That makes everybody feel so much better. And you don't want to learn this to look for a temporary escape, but you only do it temporarily. That's why a lot of people drink too. A lot of people drink because they want to forget certain things, but it's all temporary. You want to be, you want to take time, sit down with yourself, talk this through in your head, think it through. You know, this is why this happens. So maybe if I do this, you know, I can still be who I am, but hold back just enough to where so-and-so will stop, you know, doing this. Or, you know, my father will stop talking to me about this, or my parents will worry so much about that. Things like that. Um, but the best way to deal with it is to find a way to express yourself, to stay positive, all right? Stay positive. And when I say stay positive, I mean if there's anything negative in your life, convert it. Find a way to turn that into positivity. Hopefully that helped you guys. I don't want to repeat myself. Enjoy. Take care. And stay positive.